good morning and welcome to Adava News. Today is Sunday, 14th of February 2016. Today's paper highlights read by Edward Udeyadas, Thirvasagayam Pillai. Today we have two weekly newspapers, Sunday Observer and the Sunday Times. First we focus on the Sunday Observer. Disciplinary action against Mahindra Rajapaksa. 30 SLFP MPs found guilty of violating party discipline. Disciplinary committee given full authority to take action. MPs making statements on dividing SLFP to be investigated. The disciplinary committee of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party SLFP will initiate action against 30 MPs for violating party discipline. The SLFP Central Committee, when it met on Friday, decided to delegate full authority to the disciplinary committee of the party to take action against MPs breaching party discipline, irrespective of their positions in the party. Internal discipline is important in a political party. At this point, my primary objective is to uphold party discipline. President Maitri Palasari said and told the senior members of the Central Committee on the sidelines of the Central Committee meeting on Friday evening. The party now enjoying internal democracy. MPs or senior could not express their views or opinions freely over the past 10 years. However, democracy should not be at the expense of party discipline, the President said. Adverse electronic media comments on female opera singer. Prime Minister warns of stern action. The government will not hesitate to take stern action against any media organizations that attack individuals and continue to unethical practices. Prime Minister Ranil Vikrama Singer warned in response to recent adverse electronic media comments on an opera singer. Media institutions are not properties of their owners. They belong to the citizens of the country, of which nearly 52% are women. If media insults women, then they do not respect the majority of the population, the Premier said. Sarat Fonseca enjoying dual privileges. JVP concerned calls for new regulations. JVP parliamentarian Vijita Herat raised an issue of concern over the dual privileges enjoyed by the newly appointed MP and leader of Democratic Party Field Marshal Sarat Fonseca. Fonseca already enjoys a high level of privileges equivalent to ministerial perks afforded for his rank as Field Marshal. He is given security details as per his rank in the armed services and also draws a salary. Most of these privileges are not afforded to a normal member of parliament. Suhada Hamalath likely to get diplomatic posting. Solicitor General Suhada Hamalath, the senior most officer in the Attorney General's department, is likely to receive a diplomatic posting following the appointment of Jayanda Jaisuriya to the Attorney General's post highly placed government sources in the view. Now let's go to the weekly newspaper of the Sunday Times. Disclose source if you receive more than 200,000 rupees. Central Bank imposes tough new regulations, stricter checks on politically exposed persons. The Central Bank has tightened regulations to monitor inward remittances exceeding 200,000 rupees, with Sri Lankans being required to provide to their receiving banks the source of their funds. This comes in terms of new customer due diligence rules gazetted by the Financial Intelligence Unit of the Central Bank. The move runs counter to a claim by Finance Minister Ravi Karuna Nayaka in October last year where he offered amnesty to Sri Lankans holding secret numbered accounts in Swiss banks. He invited them to bring back their money under a no-question-asked policy. There are about 10 to 15 billion US dollars hold outside the country. We are inviting Sri Lankan expatriates to bring their money and we can offer a considerable interest rate, the minister said. 
passport left in toilet, dark mood for Sri Lankan MPs. A group of Sri Lankan parliamentarians missed the opening day of an interfaith conference in South Korea after one MP left her passport in the Seoul International Airport toilet and the delegation was not allowed to entry into the country. The group of 17 MPs had arrived in Seoul to attend the International Conference of Parliamentarians for Peace, an event sponsored by the Universal Peace Federation run by the widow of the late Reverend Sun Moon. On the arrival, Martelet District Parliamentarian Rohini Vijayaratna used the facilities at the airport and, and forgetfully left her passport there. It was later retrieved by staff of Sri Lankan Embassy in Zawol after they had been called in to assist the detained Sri Lankan delegation. But the delay meant that the delegation had to miss the opening day's deliberations and the formal welcome banquet. With that, we come to an end of today's paper highlights. We will come with more news tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening to our news.